Hello YouTube, we made a fan housing for our treadmill motor. That green piece is a plastic lid off a big cup. I call it like polycarbonate plastic, that hard plastic. Cut out. Where you see the red marker, that's where the holes are. You can just see them, where the brushes are. So I'm assuming the air pulled out this way because there used to be a fan on the end of the shaft, which you can probably just, you really can't see in there. We'll whip it on here. We're thinking about covering this area with cardboard so the air can only come out of here. So cardboard or plastic, it'll probably be plastic cardboard won't last. Probably like some plexiglass pieces, be hot glued. And that's how we put this in here. This was like your later cup, so this would have been indented. It would have been that thick. So we filled that, made a ring of hot glue with the trusty old glue gun. It was one of my garbage finds last year, an older one. That's a nice glue gun. I have a newer one. It, it plugged up on me, and it's probably thrown away by now. But took a razor blade, kind of cleaned it up. This was a big tin container I had. This is some foil tape. Just sprayed some primer on it. Also, this is magnetic. So we're going to make something on here. Uh, we used to stand a piece of cardboard up in here. We don't want metal shavings being attracted to the motor. This is magnetic. Permanent magnet DC motor. Go back to here. I don't know the CFM of this. It's a little one, it's out of the stereo, it's only like .12 amps, or 12 volt, got hooked to my power supply, it may get hooked to a wall cube, wall cubes aren't filled to degrees, but I hate to run my power supply all the time, but it did get kind of smushed when I made these brackets, kind of squared it, but those are rivet, rivet kid, I always have a problem with the word rivet, it has rivets in it, it has bolts, we have the option of putting a bigger fan. We hot glued the wires here. We're going to also hot glue these wires in here so they don't get pulled on. I think it's going to be some plex glass in here. We want the air to pull just here. We don't want the air to go through here and back out. We want it to suck through the motor. So I've never really had it overheat. They haven't run this much this summer. I was running it in the winter cooler month. But. There you go. I'll snap a couple pictures. Just, just be a short video. Thanks for watching.